The Wolf Pack do a Legend League challenge every single season. This one's a little bit different though. It's not one particular strategy, it's a bunch of them. So each week you have something a little bit different. First week is all about the donuts and we love the donuts on this channel. Let's get into it. I thought I'd start things off by showing you my beautiful first ever attempt live on stream during the Soam Challenge of a belly donut. Look at the majesty of this attack. I managed to invisi the CC with my second invisi spell. I forget to drop the quake. It's a whole thing. Um, <laughs> it's it's not good. It's not good. But that's what the song challenge is all about. Uh, people choose your army for you and then you have to do something with it. This particular one might have one. Congratulations, my friend. Now let's see some proper donut attacks. Our first hitter is Jed and Jed's not coming in with a belly donut. This is a straight up old school skelly donuts. You've got those two skelly spells, you got the three invisies, and you got that rage spell. Now, if you're gonna try a donut for the first time, I would recommend this type of donut. Nice and straightforward. You're only trying to get a CC and maybe another building, but it, you don't have to worry about all the bat spells and everything else. So it's just, look, just like Jess doing here. It's beautifully done. Skelly spells down in the rage, and then those invisies. Nice and straightforward. You're just going for the one side of the CC to invisi everything, and it's so beautifully done. Look at the path that he's trying to create over here as well. So Flame Flinger up north, that's going to get some nice value because that's going to start pushing over to the right hand side. Golem out tank for the Queen. The King's job is to funnel the Queen into the Town Hall. King's got the value that he wanted, managed to get the enemy Queen, so that's forced her into the core now. She will go into the Town Hall. That Invisible spell that he did need to use for the Skelly because it was so easy to get that CC comes in handy to make sure the Queen lasts a little bit longer. And here comes the Lalo. We're already starting up in the north. Got that line of loons coming down. We got hounds down here as well. Look at those four finger drops that he does. I mean, I do a three finger drop. A four finger drop would be, oh God, do I have to try that? <laughs> that would be epic. He must use like a, a big old like 65 inch tablet, like, you know, on his wall, like sort of thing. I, I don't know if I could do a four, a four finger drop. RC is now just coming in 50 plus percent of the base gone and she's just on the map. Wardenstone protecting everything through into that multi. That is nicely done. Scattershot is doing nothing to these loons right now. Oh, it's now just starting to target them. The RC is down as well. Look, the Warden, the Isle, and his RC made quick work of her. She didn't stand a chance. Still got the RC's ability. So with that alone, this base is toast because the enemy king under that poison spell, he's not really going to do enough damage. The Isle's there just in case. And the Isle, let's be honest, the Isle's the best pet in the game. Might have said that before, I don't know. Um, but that's the base, it's done. Next hitter, it's someone we all know and love. It's only Danny Beast uh, with a belly donut. So belly donut is bat spells and skelly spells. That's why it's a belly donut. Here we go. You want to get that rage spell down first, quickly followed by an invisi. Once that's down, you get your skelly spell in front of your CC and then your bat spell right down on top of that inferno, quickly followed by another invisi. And then every four and a half seconds, you're visiting until those two are done. And Danny Beast does it so well. Just look at it. And now we can start with a hero push, getting into that town hall compartment. We got that ice golem moving out in front of the queen. How are we gonna push her in? It's not a clear path set yet. We're gonna try to funnel out, so he's just waiting to see like which way button. the queen's gonna go. If she goes north, he's gonna to. funnel the north. If he goes south, he'll funnel the south. That's exactly what he's done. So he's got the king down now, tanking for her. First wall breaker down to get her in. She looks like she's walking away. Who is she walking away? No, 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 go back, Queen. No, no, go back, go back. Is she gonna walk? How's she gonna get this iron all? Oh, she's, she's turning back. Oh, look at this, look at this. Right at the last second, she decides to go back. The unicorn's healing her up. That's another freeze, though. That's a lot of spells to get this town hall down. Like, a lot of spells. Leaves virtually nothing for the Lalo. And that's what I'm seeing a lot with these belly donut Lalos. You end up using a lot for the hero push and for the donut portion, so you're not, you don't have a load to go through with the Lalo. I'm also noticing this, both hounds in at the same time, loads of loons in then with them, and then the stone slammer to support two. Now, can you get away with using one less hound and use the stone slammer instead? I don't know, a lot of people do. I prefer to have the two hounds and the stone slammer on top. 
you know, with all the donut lalos that I do. Just one. Done one. But that's what I did. I did that. <laughs> it didn't work. But that's because I can't donut yet. I'm learning. Give me a chance. Base is wrecked. The the snow slammer's still up. This is this is completely destroyed. We've we've, we've got swipe troops. We got swipe troops. No 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 swipe spells. But we've got swipe troops. Danny the beast. I mean Danny the beast. Ah, GG. So this was not your first attempt. I take it because um, I mean if it was, I kind of hate you. I don't think it was though. A bit too pro. And our final attack today is from the Lalo Master himself, the one and only Daniel San. Let's see what he does with this ring base. So Rage down, Invisi. Oh, he made the single Invisible. Got the Skelly spell down, though. Next Invisi, then the Bat spell, and now we're cooking. Okay, so he's got the Invisi right in the correct place, and he's able to make... Yeah, look at that. Short work. Easily done. That one little slip up at the start wasn't enough to, to make this attack anything less than perfect, let's be honest, because he's, you know, he's Daniel San. He's amazing. Now look at the path and... He can see a clear line into that town hall. If you look at the left here, down where the king is now, if the king keeps moving across that left-hand side and the queen moves in on the right next to him, once she gets to that little gap there, see the little one here? Once she gets to that little gap, the wizard tower, the builder hut behind her will be closer than the warden statue. So he knows she's gonna go in there. He knows that's the path she's gonna take. And the RC perfectly placed to funnel her in the rest of the way means she has nowhere else to go but right to the town hall. Gonna have to invest some spells though. So he did have to invest that one freeze. Is he gonna have to use another one? Yeah, another one just to make sure that the town hall goes down. But even now, look, he can send his Lalo in towards the eagle. He's still got a stone slammer to come. This is the great thing about this attack strategy. You, you have that backup of the stone slammer, which is so tanky, so strong to come in towards the end of the attack. Uh, but look, Lalo moving through the core now. Enemy Queen is getting battered, absolutely battered by those headhunters. She is done. She's gone. And then we've still got the Warden on his beautiful skateboard. Not skateboard, but it looks like a skateboard. And then the C2 troops from the Stone Slammer. That Robo Drag tanks everything. It is just so strong. I mean, it's taken about 5 million shots from that air defense. It's not 5 million, but it's about 4.5 million, I think. Um, or thereabouts. And it's a 3 star. Wow. Danielson, uh, I think I think you need to train me on how to Lalo, live on stream. Guys, that is it for another video. Thank you very much to the Wolfpack for allowing me to record your amazing Donut Legend League challenge. Looking forward to the next week. I'm not going to tell anyone what it is. It'll be a nice surprise. But more coming from the Wolfpack very soon. If you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget, drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll be back very soon with more Clash of Clans from Bastide Gaming. See you later.